All right, guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video talking about the vehicle speed sensor, the transmission speed sensor. So let me tell you first about what led me to changing the sensor, how I found out about it, and um, we'll go from there. So first of all, when I bought the car, um, the man said that it had kind of some transmission issues, which was weird because I, I bought it after it was sitting at his parking spot for a while, and he was surprised that it got to my house without issues. And I was still driving it for about two months, three months afterwards. Um, and the car was fine. It would just kind of kick a little bit when it would change gears. But it would take me everywhere. And it was my daily driving until about a week ago when the car started slipping the gears. So I was driving down the highway or somewhere. And then the car would just start revving up. But it wouldn't go anywhere. So then at first, I started off turning off the car. I would pull over, turn off the car, turn it back on. And the car would drive me for a little bit, but it would still struggle with the um, with the gears. And then I would have to, you know, keep doing the same thing every mile or so. After that, I got it home. I just let it sit there. I thought, hmm, there's a transmission. I started looking for transmissions on Facebook Marketplace, started talking to some people, started looking more into uh, the whole cost, the whole procedure of changing the transmission. Um, and then I started reading a little bit. Oh, well, the thing was that I learned how to pull the codes out. I learned how to pull the codes out of the ECU and out of the transmission, too, because those are two different ones on a 1991 Accord. Okay. So, I went ahead and I disconnected the sensor from the engine. And the car started to work a little better. It started to... It was no longer jerking. It wasn't kicking anymore. The transmission was shifting smoother. But it was still was not doing good because the computer still doesn't know when to shift since it's an automatic. So, I've been driving for a couple days with it. Just I didn't. I it's not removed. It's just the harness is disconnected. So, I went to two junkyards and I got two different vehicle speed sensors for the transmission. And uh, when I when start, when I installed the first one, the car seemed to shift better, but it was sluggish. It was sluggish. It wasn't doing the same thing that it should be doing. So I thought maybe that one's broken. Um, I went to another junkyard and I got another vehicle speed sensor. And what happened with that one was that the car was still slipping and my, and my uh, speedometer wasn't working at all, unlike with the first sensor. So a couple of things about the transmission speed sensor is your speedometer will stop working. Your odometer that counts the miles will stop working. The little thing, um, the numbers that count the trip uh, miles, it'll stop working. Um, another symptom is uh, late shifting. It'll shift late. Going from one to two, you'll see that it kind of like, and then it goes, and then it kind of jerks and then shifts. Another thing is, uh, you know, just, just things like that. So a lot of people would say it's a transmission, but it could just be this. It's a sensor that goes on the transmission. And it counts the velocity and it lets the ECU and the TCU know when to shift. So the computer can do its job by itself. Now, if you had a manual truck, you probably wouldn't have a big deal. Your speedometer probably wouldn't work and it wouldn't count miles. But you could get on without it if you could just shift manual. But on automatic, it could just be this. So I got this on Amazon for $20. It arrived in two days. And these are only compatible with 1990 to 1991 Honda Accord. 1992, 1993, 1994, nope, doesn't work. Even though the cars kind of look similar, it doesn't work. Only 1990 and 1991. Also, you can get it from a Honda Prelude. And from the Honda Prelude, it's 1992 and 1993. So they're compatible. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys where it's located. Um, how to change it, what tools to use to change it, and then we're going to look and record the results. And hopefully, it's some really good results. Alright guys, so here we are. The sensor is down here. I know it's hard to see, um, but it's right here. It's that little thing right here. And it's disconnected as you can see. And the connector is right here. So look, just... Go by the air mass flow sensor right here. It's down there. You'll be able to see it. Okay, so the tools that we're going to use is a 10 millimeter socket wrench. 
you're gonna need an extension. So I have a pretty long extension over here because you have to you have to access it from all the way over here. There's a bolt that you have to go through all those things. So if you don't have an extension, it's gonna be pretty hard. And then I have this breaker bar. It's, it's a torque wrench, but I use it as a breaker bar sometimes. So let's do this. All right, so I took out the first one. The first one I took out with a simple wrench and a small extension. I just put my hand in there and I just did it. You have to go under the heater hose, okay? You have to go under the heater hose to get that first bolt on this side. And then you have to get the one that's more in the center of the car. You see it goes all the way down there. Just got to get it out and then that's it all right so you cannot forget to put the pin in if you put the pin in through here it might stay but i'm afraid if i go try to put it inside that is going to slip so i'm just going to put it with these sides down into the slot where the sensor goes right here All right, it's in there. Sorry, you guys can't see it too well. I don't, I don't have a flashlight. And then we're going to install it, and you have to install it this way. So the harness faces the front of your car. All right, so let's go. Okay, so the car is on. We are on the road. I'm gonna take it to a bigger street just to test it out a little bit more. But as you can see, the S light, the sport light used to blink. It's no longer blinking. My engine check light used to come on the same time as the S light. It's not there anymore. So that means that something got worked out and it's, it's doing fine. And you see it just shifted. It used to not shift. Look at how smooth it shifts. exactly what I needed right here. Only light I have on now is my seatbelt light, but that's that's gonna be another fix. Even though I have my seatbelt on, it still tells me that I need to put my seatbelt on. And a lot of the time it makes this, this noise, that it's like a beep, reminding me to put on my uh, seatbelt. There it goes, there it goes. Shifting better than ever before. This car has never shifted this great. 